Canyon ISD is very excited to have Chromebooks in our classrooms and we're excited to have a Google account for each student. When you get ready to log into the Chromebook, it's going to ask that you use your email address and that's going to be the one that has the at canyonstudent.net and it's going to ask you to use your password and this is the password that you were given by your teacher. When you look at the bottom toolbar of the Chromebook, you're going to see that it looks a little bit different from my screen, but one of the things that you'll notice is that it has the Chrome browser icon in the bottom left corner of the, the Chromebook. And when you click on that, it's going to open Google, just like it would on a MacBook, um, laptop, an iPad, a computer, anywhere in the library or at home. So you've got the Google tools that will follow you anywhere you are working. One of the first things that you might want to do is make a more secure password. And Google requires that you have at least eight characters. And this can be letters, numbers, symbols, and case-sensitive letters. Uh, will be either lowercase or uppercase. So a good password for Google will be at least eight. The concern or the thing you want to be careful of is you want to be sure and remember whatever you change your password to be. The teacher in the classroom does not have access to be able to troubleshoot and change that back or to tell you what your password is. So anything that you pick is great as long as it's eight characters and very secure but you'll want to be sure and remember what you changed it to. You'll also want to be sure and not share that password with anyone else. That's your personal password and your personal account. When you get ready to change that password, you look in the top right hand corner and you'll see your email address at canyonstudent.net. When you click on that, there is a place for the student um, name and then right under that, you're going to see the account link in blue. Not add an account, but the blue account. When we click on that, it gives us an option for personal info, but the second tab over is security. And as we click on security, there is a blue link for change the password. So be secure, don't share, and remember whatever it is you change it to. When we look back at the Google screen, we're ready to shut down uh, Google. There are are two different ways to do that. When we're working from a screen and we're at the library or at home or anywhere else on a public computer, we want to be sure and log off of Google by clicking on the email address in the top right hand corner and going to sign out. If you have signed into Chrome, and we'll talk about Chrome in another video, but if you've signed into the Chrome browser in, a, in the library or anywhere else that you have uh, access, on a public computer, you're going to want to be sure and click on the little three-lined menu bar or the hamburger menu, it's sometimes called. And when you click on that, you can scroll down and you'll see a place that shows that you're signed in. And this won't show up on the Chromebook, but when you're anywhere else, you'll see that. And you're going to go right underneath that to Settings. And from Settings, there is a place down on the bottom of the screen called Users. And when you use uh, the user, you're going to delete this user or yourself. And you'll be able to close out of Chrome browser and you're closed out of the Google tools. On the Chromebook, it's really awesome because all you have to do is shut down the Chromebook and log off. And you are logged off of both Google and Chrome. So you don't have to be careful about uh, staying logged in to Google there. The bottom right hand of the Chromebook screen, you'll see that there is a clock. There's also a Wi-Fi symbol, a little battery symbol, and then a little picture that was assigned to your name. It might be a snowman or a frog or something that you chose. And when you click on that little picture, it's going to give you the option to um, sign out and you'll sign out of the Chromebook and it'll automatically log you out of Google and Chrome. There's a place on the uh, main screen that you can then shut down the Chromebook and be ready to put it back in the cart. We're going to be sharing more tools that Google provides and some things that you can do with the Chromebook, but for now we hope you get a good start using Chromebooks for learning. Thank you.